coming back to you this is my final on the upgraded airwolf i'm pretty sure i'm going to call this project done at this time so let's go over what's happened here um of course it's the airwolf hd2x that i talked so highly about a couple years ago and it out of the box was a great printer it done well um the nozzle got clogged it was kind of a pain because you had to take you know the two screws out pull that big old disc off the bottom clean it out or if you had to replace it they're 25 dollars a piece so the uh arms on the extruders wear out which i've put in a video a couple times for you all right down in there in that little spot you can see right there below my finger uh they wear out yeah right there you can see that spot where it wore. Once that's where the bearing, this pushes on the bearing and keeps the tension. Once that wears out, you got to have a new one, which you got to get from them. They won't give you the STL, or you just take a good one and you make you one basically. Um, these were the extruders. They're no longer on the printer. I mean, they got nylon gears and they, they still work good, but uh, they're set up for three millimeter, and I got rid of that. So. Um, I made the uh, I made the mount myself. Chimera dual volcano cooling fan. The original setup for the uh, HD2X did not have a cooling fan. They came out with it later. It was a little 20 millimeter fan mounted on the side, and it just blowed air out into the chamber. It really didn't direct it, whereas that blows it right across the nozzles. So. Uh, 1.75 millimeter using that new uh, Capricorn, which is tighter tolerances and it is nice, especially for Bowden, and it is slicker too on the outside even. You can feel the difference from regular PTFE. Um, what I've done here, I took a piece of the original uh, Bowden tubing. There's a hole in the mount and I got a four millimeter bolt on the bottom. If you could see it in there, you can just see the washer. Uh, there's a bolt back there right here above my finger. You can see the silver washer. Uh, I put a washer and then I put the boat on it and screwed it into it so it holds it in. So that goes through the hole, holds it there. And my cables go across this tube. And I made a mount for it back here and put a coupling on it because it'll it'll turn, spin with the head and everything. And that gives somewhere for the wires to go. Uh, instead of having a ton of wires, I just put my heater wires and then the fan and thermistors and everything are all on a uh, RJ45 breakout Cat5 cable, basically. So, then I took the extruders out. I had my 3DP on here. They work great. The 3DP is on another printer now uh, because I still had to get behind this to load the filament. That's one of the things with this printer that really sucks. So, I made a couple of mounts. Put a couple of Titans right here on the side up front. So, now I can get to both of them no problem and uh you know i could just take the filament straight out of the spool run it straight up and i may end up doing that uh i really didn't want to drill holes in this because i was worried it would crack so for now i just ran a piece of ptfe out the back and had it come back to it but i did run one of these with the uh filament going straight in and it ran fine you can't turn this around because this part travels in there and this does clear everything. But if you turn this around, the, the filament would be in the way. So it has to be on the outside. I did think about making a mount that uh, fits these holes and set the extruders on the front and then have it come out. Probably just take that screw out and leave it out and bring the filament straight out from the bottom and then back up, which that's still an ideal. But, and then you would have them on the front of the printer instead of on the side. But that works well and they're out of the way. So I'm probably going to leave it that way. But that's it, guys. Um, the printer will prints 50 times better than it did before. I mean, I've tweaked it. I got the extrusion uh, rates right. The 1.75 millimeter seemed you had better flow control, I think. Pressure control, I guess, is the better word for it. Um... I uploaded the STL for this to Thingiverse. 
uh, I'll probably add, I'm going to go ahead and add this to it just so it's there in case you all do decide to do this and you want this. Uh, a note on this. The tubing, well, if you notice, if you get it long, this one's a little shorter, okay? So it, it's got more of an arc. This one's a little longer and see how it leans over with the filament in it. To keep this from laying over, you really can't see it. See that shine in there? Um, there's a piece of metal that I put in there just to give it, to make it firmer, I guess you could say. Uh, you can use like from a, a little piece of metal wire from like a flag that you stick in the yard to, you know, mark fence or something with. I actually took an old windshield wiper and there's a small flat piece of, uh, stainless steel or something and it don't rust and i pulled it out and shoved it in there and it's flat so it the flat part goes with the arch and then it just pivots so it's perfect you can actually kind of see it inside there it looks like i got filament in there i did try leaving three millimeter filament in there it didn't hold up too well that works perfect so uh, i just wanted to share this with you all I mean, honestly, the way it prints now, which I wish I had something to show you. I've done, used everything I've printed out of this. Um, but, well, I printed that at 150 millimeters a second on this printer. So, and I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It's just a square, okay? And I've dinged it up a little bit, putting it on, and I dropped it. Messed up the corner. You can see where I dropped it. But as far as surface goes, it's smooth. Uh, it's it's got sharp detailed corners on it and like i said i did put a wi a duet wi-fi board in this if you're going to change controllers on anything 3d printer wise that is the board to use a duet board is great the first one will be a pain once you set one up because you got to learn a couple of things but once you set one up from there on i've done two now uh, i've got a third controller coming for another printer so if you st if you have one of these printers or one in this style and you want to do the upgrade, this is the way to do it. Now, as far as your firmware goes, if you have the original firmware and the original controller and you want to keep it, that's fine. The only thing you have to change is the E-steps for the extruders because you're not using those. You're going to use Titans or something else. All you got to do is issue an M, I think it's an M92 command, um, and with the extruder E-steps, and then do an M500 to save it to EEPROM. And it's done. You never have to do it again. Or you can just put the M92 command in your start script in your slicer. And it'll do it every time. So you don't have to redo a bunch of firmware to do this. This mount takes up one or two millimeters less space than the original mount does. So all your dimensions, everything are good. Um, your offset for your nozzle is 18 millimeters from tip to tip. So it's a little narrower. You actually get two millimeters more because on the on the uh, Airwolf extruders, I think it's 20 millimeters. So you gain two millimeters. Big deal. I know. Like that's something. But this is just drop-in replacement. It ain't like some of them you'll download for the dual V6s or something where you have to add a piece on to that arm or print a new arm because it has to be this much wider. And you lose an inch, inch and a half of real estate on your print bed. Everything stays the same. All you need to do is change the E-steps for the extruders when you change over. And I've got the E-step for these uh, Titan extruders. I've got it set to 476. And I'm actually printing with my, inf my uh, uh, extruder uh, multiplier set at 0.86. So I probably need to lower it probably to about a, uh, a f uh, 470 instead of a 476. But I'll leave it the way it is for now. I mean, it's printing great. Um, there you go. The Airwolf with a Chimera. 1.75 millimeter using Titan extruders. And I no longer have to turn the printer around to uh, load and change filament. I do it right here on the sides. Thank you. Have a good day.